Oh my God, Andy, I am so excited to see you. Thank you so much for agreeing to chat to me, particularly as you're in Athens at the moment. I am indeed. Nice to speak to you. How was your gig last night, first of all? It was hot. <laughs> it was very hot on stage and it was a big stage. But there, yeah, the, 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 the crowd were good. We haven't played in Greece for about 12 years, so I think... Um, you know, I felt like we were having to re-educate the audience all over again. But um, it was, it was, it was really, really enjoyable. I'm a bit exhausted though because it was absolutely sweltering. We went on stage just before the sun had gone down. I kept looking at the sun, just going, "I wish it would go over the horizon. <laughs> I could feel it on me." You know, but it was a great gig. Oh well, I'm so grateful because you're a very difficult man to get hold of. By the way, it took a lot of tracking down to get hold of your management, but. I'll tell you the story. We were on the front row at Let's Rock uh, Leeds on Saturday. Um, never really, I'm shameful to say, uh, been a massive OMD fan, not seeing you guys play live before. However, and I'll just play the little clip now. blown away Andy that was one of the best experiences I've ever had at a festival thank you that's very kind of you it was, I mean I have to say it was um it was a particularly fantastic audience and as I think I said on the day audiences make concerts you know we try to give 100% every time but you cannot fail to feed off an audience that is absolutely giving the love back to you so we we had a, a wonderful time and yeah that's the reason why we started doing these festivals, because the frustrating thing for us is that people who've seen us always come again. People who haven't seen us think, mm -hmm. oh, well, the songs are okay, but are they any good live? And so that's why we started doing these retro festivals, to reach out to, to make people see us, and then they start coming to see us again. Well, well, that's it, because the guys that were next to us, Claire and that woman that I met, Claire and her partner, he actually caught the, the drumsticks. Oh, <laughs> he was yeah. made they're massive fans. They followed you all over the world. And they were the ones that convinced us to stay because, you know, we're not local. We quite often drive back because I've got young kids and things like that. Um, and we were like, no, no, okay, we'll stay. Um, and I just could not believe it. The atmosphere, the energy, the just the the, the amazing feeling of, of every single person, 10,000 people all singing along at once. And I couldn't believe how many songs of yours I knew as well. I was like, I don't know this one, I don't know this one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's, again, that touches on another thing is that when people hear the songs, they go, oh, yeah, I know that one. I know that one. Um, I just, I think because we didn't want to be kind of clothes sources or fashion victims or make a statement with the way we presented ourselves visually, um, perhaps we've become a little bit forgotten by people and they don't remember all the hits we had. Yeah. Um, we are actually one of the few bands, without sounding too egotistical, we are one of the few bands who can fill an hour with hits. Yeah. Yes. Um, and that's what you have to do when you when you're closing a, a, a retro festival. You know, it's it's uh, all killer, no filler, basically. You should have been headlining for sure. That's it. You should. Well, you know what? I will I, I will stay um, diplomatically, politically silent on that one. It, <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. The the good thing for us about not headlining is we can take our time to leave the venue. We don't have to leg it into the bus and try and get out before the car park is emptying. You know. <laughs> Well, I was going to ask you about that, but when, you, when you've been on stage like that, or particularly on that night in Leeds, on Saturday night, when you come off the stage, what's the first thing that, you, that you're saying to each other? Um, we normally talk about the gig, you know, and, 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 and usually it's, it's, it's positive and it, it, it varies between that was a great gig or that was an amazing gig. But yeah, we, we were absolutely buzzing after Leeds because that crowd really was very special. Um, I, I just think, you know... You, you, as I said earlier, you, you try to be consistent, yeah. but you can't help but feed off yeah. an incredible crowd. And uh, yeah, it was it was it was a it was a great buzz. 
What was endearing as well for us as the crowd is seeing your reaction and seeing that you were quite overwhelmed and seeing that you were, you know, quite taken aback, I think, by the love that was coming your way. And that was, you know, really nice for us to see as well. Listen, we don't take anything for granted. You know, we, we, we like to think that we put on a good show. We try our best. We have great crew. I mean, this is the other thing is, you know, the four of us on stage are just the tip of the pyramid. Yeah. You know, that all the people below you have to make it happen. Um are just, are just as important so we we we're, we're just sort of the, the the front office as it were but but yeah we we do the best we can and when you get a crowd like that um how can you not love it 10,000 people <laughs> clapping and singing along and making you feel like you you know making their day a happy day yeah and how long did it take to come down then afterwards did you have a long drive home and time to the or? no we were um we we stayed in Leeds actually. We were back in the hotel, uh, I don't know before before ten thirty, and uh, just had a couple of drinks and and, and went to bed. It's um, you know when you do a gig like that on a big stage, um, for me certainly it, it's it's exhausting. So yeah. once the adrenaline is kind of ebbed away, I'm ready for bed. It takes it takes a lot out of me, you know. I'm I'm going to be sixty four on Saturday, so. Um, well, that energy uh, as well, the dancing. You did not stop for an hour. We were just like in awe, going, "Oh my god, how do you do it?" It keeps me fit. <laughs> it certainly does, and um, I can't wait to uh, come and see you again live. I'm looking forward to the album, new album coming out in October. I know that we've got you know arranged to have another chat about that later mm -hmm. in the year, um, but for now. Thank you so much. Thank you for making my day on Saturday. Thank you for making a memory that I will never, ever, ever forget. And um, enjoy the rest of your time in Athens. And, and happy birthday for later in the week. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely to talk to you. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy my birthday and new album in October, British tour. So uh, we'll see you live probably in February or March next year. <laughs> Fantastic. Sorry about my dog barking in the background for that last bit. <laughs>